And look at this, you're even awake this week. To what do I owe this honor, huh? I better not look a gift cat in the mouth, eh? Ready for some good news? First up, scientists at Stanford University have developed a system for cooling water without electricity. Yeah. The system takes advantage of a natural process called radiative cooling. It's through this process that objects release heat into the atmosphere and that Earth releases heat into space. It's difficult to take advantage of radiative cooling for our own purposes because during the day, objects absorb much more heat from the sun than they lose due to radiative cooling. But the Stanford scientists have devised a solution to this problem and found a way to use radiative cooling to cool water regardless of the surrounding air temperature. The system developed by the Stanford team uses a mirror-like reflective surface composed of multiple layers of optical film. The surface reflects 97% of the light that hits it, drastically reducing the warming effect of the sun. When panels of this reflective surface were placed over water pipes on the roof of a building, the temperature of the water in the pipes was reduced to between 3 and 5 degrees Celsius below the ambient air temperature. The Stanford scientists are still working on ways to increase the amount of cooling possible using their panels and on how to integrate them into air conditioning and refrigeration systems. The paper on this new radiative cooling system is published in the journal Nature Energy. Sort of relocated a little bit, didn't you? Papa had to reframe his shot. You, just, you can't ever make it easy, can you? <sighs> anyway, next up, a new study suggests that the range of human emotions isn't as simple as we previously thought. Psychologists have often assumed that most human emotions can be understood as variations on a handful of basic feelings. Lists of these basic emotions can vary, but a popular example is Paul Ekman's list of basic emotions introduced in the early 1970s. According to Ekman, there are six basic emotions that serve as the basis for most other emotional states. Anger, disgust, fear, happiness, sadness, and surprise. The results of new research from UC Berkeley cast some doubt on whether human emotion can really be reduced to six simple states. After studying the reactions of over 800 subjects to thousands of video clips intended to be emotionally evocative, the UC Berkeley researchers identified not six, but 27 distinct emotional states. The participants in the study, who an article on the Berkeley News site describes as demographically diverse, exhibited similar reactions to the videos with over half of the participants in one group describing each clip in the same emotional terms. The researchers believe the study provides evidence that human emotional experiences are far more complex than conventional wisdom has assumed. This study is published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And finally, research from scientists at Northwestern University could lead to a new treatment for Parkinson's disease. Researchers from Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine have determined that accumulations of a protein called alpha-synuclein and oxidized dopamine interfere with the functions of lysosomes and mitochondria, causing neurons to degenerate, which leads to the debilitating effects of Parkinson's. More importantly, the Northwestern team has also found a way to interrupt this process. By treating dopamine neurons with an antioxidant, the researchers found that they could disrupt the accumulation of proteins and oxidized dopamine, thus halting the progress of Parkinson's. This treatment would be most effective if administered very early in the degeneration process, before symptoms are apparent. In order to detect Parkinson's that early, the researchers are also working on ways of using genetic screening and neural imaging to identify people suffering from the initial stages of Parkinson's early enough for their treatment to really make a difference. This study is published in the journal Science. You stayed awake for an entire good news video. What'd you think? Is it as good as you remember? Anyway, 
What have we learned today? Well, we've learned that scientists are developing a cooling system that requires no electricity. Researchers have identified 27 distinct emotional states as opposed to the traditional six. And scientists may have found a way to disrupt the progress of Parkinson's disease before it does too much damage. That's the good news, isn't it? Yes. I guess I caught you at a good time, huh? Yeah. Hey folks, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to www.patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. There she goes.